In this video, we're going to look at the characteristics and attributes of a deep lying playmaker. And we're going to focus on 20 year old Brazilian Lucas Paqueta. Lucas Paqueta plays for Flamengo in Brazil and he's been gaining a lot of attention from scouts all over the world. He's becoming more and more of an influence in Flamengo's team, especially as a deep lying playmaker. So we're going to see what he brings to the team from this position. So as a deep lying playmaker, Paqueta likes to pick up the ball in his own half and look for a pass. This is quite common for a deep lying playmaker. They will pick up the ball in their own half. Yeah. Paqueta is a progressive player, so he will always look for the forward pass, a pass that initiates an attack. Most deep lying playmakers will do this. They may play from side to side, but generally they're trying to open up a space. So in this example, the original pass was not on, or it was maybe too difficult for Paqueta to play. So he scans the field for other options. Scanning for passes is important for a deep lying playmaker. They need to be able to find passes that can form an attack. Paqueta shows an excellent ability to do this and is very eager to be the player to start the attacks. So he's carried the ball forward and is now deciding which pass is better to play. He feints which basically means to fake something. So he feints the pass to keep the opposition predicting. He doesn't want to give away what he will do. Packard has now picked his pass. However, he's not content to stay in the defensive role. So Packard likes to spring forward. He likes to make runs into the opposition half and support the attack further up the pitch. One of the great aspects of Packard is his willingness to dictate play in both a deep role and an advanced position. He's a very creative player. So here's another example of Pakita picking up the ball in his own half. As you can see there, circled. So he's dropped deep for the ball. He does this often and he likes to dictate play from this position. So he's going to look for another forward pass. As he receives it, he takes his position because he can scan the entire pitch for a forward pass. So he can see the player's movements and then in his mind he, he figures out exactly where he can place the pass to start the attack. So he's immediately found the pass here and he'll make it to force the attack. And his pass will immediately go into the final third. So this just shows his variation of passing abilities. He, he can play short passes, long passes. He's very capable of picking passes all over the pitch. So as a deep line playmaker, Packeter generally stays central. And you can see him in that space there. That's generally the space he likes to make for himself so he can have a little bit of time on the ball to pick the pass. He always makes himself available and likes to be the key component in the attack. This is a really good attribute because you need your centre midfielder to be at the heart of everything that they do. So he calls for the ball, which means that he requests the ball. But once he's received the ball, he looks around for the pass that will create an opportunity. So you can see he has a couple of options here. He has an excellent range of passing, short, long, and is very accurate, as you'll see. So he goes for the long pass on this occasion. In this same moment, you'll see that Packet has moved across. He's created space for himself, and he's going to call for the ball again. So, he has the ability to find an attacking pass from deep positions. This is a great tool for Flamengo, especially against teams who are very defensive. So before he's even received the pass, he already knows where he'll pass it. Unfortunately on that occasion, the pass was just slightly overhit. Flamengo on the attack is another example of Pack to drop in deep and then creating a chance and a goal scoring chance for his team with an excellent ball over the top of the defence. Now from this deep line position, Pact can get a good picture of how he will develop the play. So sometimes he may play a pass from deep, so a long pass like we saw in the last clip, but sometimes he likes to open up the game by playing a 1-2 pass with a teammate. So he's going to just play a 1-2 here so they can move further forward. Packard is very good at drawing midfielders out of position. So basically, once they arrive towards him, he will play the ball to a teammate and receive it back from his teammate in another position. 
So this is called a one-two. Passing to a teammate and receiving the ball in return. So once he's passed his, uh, his marker, he is then able to drive forward, move into the spaces. Now what you'll see here is it's opened up the pitch for him. He, he has a clearer picture of where a pass can be made. And he's just going to wait for one of his teammates to make a run. Pakita has an ability to break the lines. This is a very key component for a team who need to create attacking opportunities. Once Pakita gets beyond that midfield line towards a defensive line, he can pick out a pass and isolate the defenders. So this allows him to use the excellent passing ability to find the assist. And as you'll see, he'll use the ball through the middle. Doesn't quite come off on that occasion. But Pakata doesn't just dictate play from D. He can do it from a position in the final third of the opposition half. So he often ventures forward and is able to pick out a pass and attack from here. Now he will make himself available to his teammate. So now he can see a picture of what he's able to do in order to create an attacking opportunity. So he's got his teammate out on the right and there's a bit of space in between them two defenders. So Pakhtun knows that his teammate will give the ball to him and then move into a forward position. He's going to open up his body to show how to do this. Now most attackers will probably run into this space. However, Pakhtun prefers to open the space with his passing instead. So he'll play a, another 1-2 this, with his teammate. Forte. Now once he receives it, Pakita shows an excellent ability of weight of pass. So it's an extremely important ability for a creative player. He needs to make sure the pass has a right amount of power behind it. And Pakita possesses this. He weighs his passes perfectly, giving his teammate a better opportunity to score or assist. So the weight of pass just means the measurement of the pass a degree of how heavy a pass is hit. In this case, he gets it right, as you'll see. Once again, another example of him waiting his pass. And he can do this in small spaces as well, as you'll see there. Just finds his teammate. Another example. A weighted pass. Executed perfectly to give his team more attacking chances. And again, another one. Between the players. Pacta is very good at this. As you can see there, just threads it through for his teammate. One more example. Another 1 2. Creating a good opportunity for his team. So, Pact is an expert at the through ball as well. As you saw in the previous clips, there were a couple of examples of some small through balls into attacking areas. However, Pacta likes to get his teammates in towards goal. So, he's a bit of an expert at the through ball. He was looking around to find a pass forward. Now notice how Flamengo always seem to give him the ball. They know he's the creative hub of their team. So the through ball is a pass that goes in between defenders to the attacker. And what you'll see here is Pacta picks up the ball and he's already spotted the winger that's just about to make a run. Now this is a very deep position to get a player in and goal. So the winger's gone and the through ball is just going to go through this channel here which is in between the defenders. Pacta always seems to look for a through ball. Again, on that occasion, it doesn't quite come off. But it shows his excellent ability. Here's another example. Picks up the ball on the edge of the penalty area. He just tries to play a through ball to his teammate, but on that occasion, their communication wasn't as good. Here again. He just times it perfectly. Fortunately, the defender got in the way of that one, but again, another example. As you can see him here, he's, he's made a move to the wing and just played into his teammate for an assist. So he's also very good at assist, Pacta. Now he's picked up a position on the left hand side here, which he doesn't tend to do that often, but it just goes to show that he's able to find space in other places on the pitch. But he has a desire to get into the penalty area and be a threat to opposition defences as well as lying deep. 
So he's running around the back to meet the cross. And his excellent vision and precise passing allows him to get the ball into the striker here. So it makes him a great supplier for attackers. He could possibly play in a more attacking position because of this ability, which help provide assists such as this one. And again here, Pakita is in a much further position. And you'll see his ability to create using close control and precise passing. So chest the ball down and he's going to play a pass over the defence to create a goal scoring chance. So this technical ability ensures that he can move the ball quickly and shows that he has the athleticism for European football. So quality through ball from him and his team score. So as we mentioned just now, he has exceptional close control and fine balance. Now this allows him to get past opponents in the midfield positions. It allows him to break the lines. It's very similar to Kaká. Paqueta is great at keeping the ball close to him and away from opponents. Now despite the ball being in the air and there being two defenders around him, he's actually able to dribble past both of them. Notice how he uses his body it's very fluid and he looks in total control of the ball despite the attention of the defenders. Another assist opportunity for him there. Here's another good, good example. Again, he gets past three defenders on that occasion because of his ability to keep close control. And not to mention the fact that he's, he's a threat in terms of goals as well. Becoming very trusted at free kicks, he gets the rebound on that occasion and excellent goal. And here's a very early goal. We'll just see him at the bottom of the right of the screen. As that ball comes through. Pacta is already heading towards the goal. And then he just calmly places it on the goalkeeper. And finally, taking over free kick duties from Diego. You can see the technical ability that he possesses. This is a wonderful strike, a wonderful free kick straight to the top corner. So that's Lucas Paqueta, deep lying playmaker. He may evolve into a more attacking role through his career, but he does like to pick up the ball from deep. I would expect him to be playing in Europe within the next two years. He's a very excellent player, a very promising talent. Brazil may have another incredible attacking player to add to their already impressive array of talents. And there's some of the characteristics of a deep lion playmaker. Thanks for watching guys and be sure to subscribe for more videos on player analysis, position analysis, etc.